Hello everyone, I'm Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So today, something I'm going to be talking about, a question I get all the time is, Anna, how do you go to and find all this motivation to meal prep? Like, why do you do it? And I wonder the same t thing sometimes. I'm like, yeah, why do I do this? It's just now a habit I've gotten into. And that's the thing. It is a habit. Like I have made it a habit over the last year, year and a half. I used to not meal prep. I used to not even like put a second thought into what I ate. I would, you know, just get frozen meals and uh, like frozen pizzas and snacks at the store and fast food and soda and just, you know, whatever happened happened. <laughs> just leave it up to leave it up to whoever, you know. <laughs> But um, I started working out and I decided I wanted to change my eating habits, not just to lose weight or anything like that, just to feel better and to know what's going in um, to my food. I also became a vegetarian about only about six months ago now. So I really like to prepare my own food to know what's going into it. Anyway, that aside, Anna, where do you get the motivation? Well, I really enjoy meal prepping now. I look forward to it. I go to the grocery store every week on Saturday or Sunday on the weekend and get all my stuff and it's like my social time, like by myself, I guess. Like, <laughs> um, it's just, it's fun. It's like my therapy for me and I enjoy putting together different recipes and I, I like to document them. I like to take pictures and um, you know, make colorful recipes. But the thing about motivation is you have to make it your own. You have to make it something that you enjoy. Don't make it into something like that you're dreading. Don't think that, oh, I don't want to make this recipe, but it's healthy for my family. I don't want to eat it, but you know, it's what I need to eat. Like if you don't want to eat it, don't make it because you're not going to enjoy making it and you're not going to enjoy eating it. So why don't you make something <laughs> that you like and that you're going to want to eat? There's healthy versions. This is what I try to say. There's healthy versions out there for just about anything. Yes, it might not taste the same exactly of your favorite craving foods, but there's something out there. Um, but that's the thing. Just like working out for me, do not do something that you don't want to do because then you're not going to want to do it, right? Um, do something fun. Like if you like doing Zumba, if you don't like running and you like Zumba, do Zumba. Why would you force yourself to run? We're not in high school anymore. We're not in track. Like we don't have to do anything we don't want to do. So same thing applies. And I promise you, if you do end up doing something that you love, um, making food that you love and making your family happy, um, you're going to enjoy it and you're going to look forward to it. And, uh, yeah, that's all you really need. So I appreciate you watching and I hope that you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. I go into depth about all these different recipes and all the things that I've learned over the last couple of years. And I hope you have a great day.